the subscriber you are calling is not reachable. This is a very familiar term for us. Today, if you call to the BSNL, the employee supposed to lift your call is already resigned. Maybe the ringtone you may get because 70,000 people are resigning from BSNL today, which is the highest or never heard of this kind before in India's history. See, I remember to get a telephone connection, I had to remove my grandfather from uh, his ration card and incorporate his name in my ration card and uh, under the uh, senior citizens quota, I got a landphone connection at my residence. See, from that level, today BSNL is a sinking ship. See, the point is, uh, to get a job in BSNL, at that point of time, it was considered as a government job. Even today, to some extent, it is the most safest, secured, easiest job available in the country. Today, you see, it is 70,000 people, they have obtained VRS. You know how the next four years, whatever salary they're supposed to get, the whole salary they are giving, the pension they are giving, everything they are giving. Then what is the logic behind? The logic is simple. We don't want you to be here. Please move out. Because it's all the surplus staff, which is like an additional uh, cholesterol in your body, nothing else. See the era of employment is over the large exchanges what BSNL had it's all gone now the land is simply empty there because the new technology requires very less space to operate so this is the condition of BSNL so the point is no more jobs are going to be safe and secured in this country even government job, if this is the situation, think about a private job. Any moment the employer can tell you, Tata, bye-bye. But still, we are preparing our children to become unemployed. Without understanding the trend, without knowing what is happening in this world. See, we have 60,000 engineering colleges in India. None of these colleges are teaching artificial intelligence the modern trend of technology as on today means our graduates are not prepared to work so we need to understand in this situation look at America 72 percentage of the adult Americans would prefer entrepreneurship than employment this is a survey conducted in the most famous American universities and 67 percentage who are already into employment are thinking of quitting their jobs then what is the alternative we have many people are changing the jobs from ICIC to HDFC HDFC to access bank the changing job cannot solve the problem it can only shift the problem you need a new address what is that address? That address is nothing but entrepreneurship. There are three types of educations. One is scholastic education. What is scholastic education? The basic education, like reading, writing, basic mathematics, all those things. What is required for us to survive in this world? That is scholastic education, which we learn from the school. Second is called professional education. Professional education, like LLB, engineering, medical, all those things all called professional education what is professional education in a nutshell it is like how you can work for money work for money third is called financial education what is financial education it is an education how money will work for you it is not you work for money it is money work for you this education is not available anywhere. In rich families, they used to teach their second generation about this financial education. Otherwise, normally we middle class people, we don't get this education elsewhere, anywhere. So, 
because of that the middle class remain middle class the rich continue to become rich so the point is we need to switch from the from the structure of a traditional employee mind to an entrepreneurial mind so what is the quality you require to become an entrepreneur when you go for a job interview there may be 100 questions asked but when you decide to become an entrepreneur there will be only one question asked what is that question are you willing to be tough means are you willing to be tough if answer is yes nobody will born tough being tough is a decision yes i will be tough once you have decided to be tough the doors of entrepreneurship is open for you so once you become an entrepreneur once you become an entrepreneur it will be an exciting journey you will be learning so many skills you will be learning how to deal with your fears how to deal with people how to arrest your financial problems it is altogether a new value system so network marketing is a fantastic business opportunity which you will learn all the skills of an entrepreneur once again it is important with an employee attitude you cannot build a network marketing business you need to develop an entrepreneurial attitude at indus viva we have a company on the company operated education system called vibrant viva 10 proven people are heading that so they will teach you they will assist you anywhere everywhere and ensure you shall become successful it is network marketing many people are thinking oh it is about dealing product it's not about dealing product it is nothing but building an asset creating an asset through when you are doing a successful network marketing business what you do is you are actually creating an asset that asset will create the profit for you in the future if you are running behind profit tomorrow this volumes what you generate it will become a liability on you rather if you are focusing on creating an asset that asset will automatically produce volumes for you and that will become profit for you so in network marketing business you are more focused on creating assets because nobody likes liability how to convert your team into an asset if you check your statistics total number of distributors in your network how many people are active those active people are assets remaining are liability if more people are inactive means you have more liability so reduce the liability and increase the asset how to reduce the liability dr manmohan singh former prime minister correctly pointed out that educated population is an asset you have to teach this business to your people you have to train this business to your people you have to help them to practice what they have learned in a real time scenario and help them to correct their mistakes give them the confidence that way prepare them to stand on their own feet then they will become an asset for you an asset can create only assets many people doesn't know that a large distribution network may not be an asset what is asset itself many people are confused for example when you are buying a car for 10 lakh rupees the moment you are taking the car out from the showroom its value has reduced 5 to 10 percentage plus the fuel 
other running expenses end of the day the car is taking out so much of money from you means it is a liability with the same 10 lakh rupee in your village if you buy a 10 by 10 shop year after year its value will go up you will be getting rent means it is an asset anything gives you income is an asset anything takes your income out is a liability so always focus on increasing your assets and reducing the liability so always keep more than 50 percentage of your network as active for that what you need to do as I said in the beginning itself make sure your people are learning this business people are practicing this business the rank wise responsibilities you should insist on them everybody should do that each ranks responsibility everyone should discharge even if you are a ruby you should be even capable of discharging the duties of a pearl but most of the time what is happening is you are not sometimes allowing due to over commitment many of your downlines to perform their duty you are carrying that load also on you then it won't help you have to patiently prepare them to discharge their duties that way you can convert your network into an asset more the asset more the profit so the point here is 70,000 people came out from BSNL today Air India government said before March 31st they will sell that once it is sold the entire surplus staff the new employer will be removing them where all these people will go average age of an Indian is 75 they all are coming out from the age of 50 45 the next 30 years do you think they can sit idle because they all worked hard in throughout their years for example if somebody is telling me Abhilash I will pay you 5 crore or 10 crore rupee you should not do network marketing I cannot do that how many days I can sit quiet so these people need an opportunity so please reach out to those people reach out to those people present this opportunity and tell them you have learned in your life that employment cannot solve your problem you work for government for 20 years 25 years 30 years for these companies and finally what has happened they just gave you a goodbye so take control of your life human beings trust me blessed with enormous abilities a bird should trust not on the branch it sits but on its own wings same way we should not trust or we should not rely on and on the security of a monthly income come out from that lot of new doors will be opened you will be emotionally tested it's okay you may be facing so many challenges it's okay but ultimately you will become a winner see there won't be any freedom without financial freedom through employment nobody can achieve financial freedom business is the way network marketing is the best business Indus Viva is the best network marketing company so all the dots are connecting take the decision and move forward dear friends it is our duty it is our responsibility to show the beauty of Indus Viva business to the world so come forward actively when you present the business opportunity to somebody whether he is enrolling or not enrolling it is up to him but it's for you it is a satisfaction because you spread the right message today to at least one person that is the key factor and one more thing 
many people are confused i should present the opportunity first or the product first let me tell you product and opportunity are two pedals of the cycle both the pedals are equally important but the first pedal is opportunity why because you are presenting the product to somebody and if he is rejecting the product now you cannot present the opportunity to him but if you are presenting the opportunity first even if he is rejecting the opportunity also still you can push for the product so that way that is important opportunity is first but we used to teach people when you are taking 200 pv 50 percentage of the product we should liquidate we should retail at that point of time we should not talk about the opportunity why their purpose is different because this man has to gain the selling skill that is the reason we should not talk about the opportunity there once he is capable of selling the product without the tag of opportunity then only he will gain the conviction that this opportunity is free so their scenario is different so otherwise we should present the opportunity first so how do we approach people for that we have to tell them inflation is catching up 1920 families could be managed with just 1 rupee for whole month it became 10 rupee in 1940 every 20 years one zero got added in 2020 it is 1 lakh rupee if that is the case 2040 it will become 10 lakh rupee if we learn from history do you think through the employment their salary will go to 10 lakh rupee after 20 years most of the companies in this tough time there is no salary hike if you are a star performer 2% 3% now and companies are removing employees our own chairman was saying we will go to japan and buy some machineries so from our factory 150 employees can brought down to 5 5 just 5 because that kind of machines are available in japan from the beginning of the process the final the final packaged product will be in hand no human intervention better perfection no risk of handling of so many employees so that is the trend the number of employees will be reduced so you can easily tell do you have an opportunity to arrest the inflation issue in your hand you have to ask do you think your salary will catch up like this no on top of that human wants are increasing previously we will never spend money for data mobile phone cable tv like that ipad so many new requirements you tell them i would like to give you the best advice i have ever received in my life what is that advice actively search for an additional income opportunity tell them and tell them if you couldn't find one come back to me i have something to discuss with you give him time let him come back then present the business opportunity it will have lot of value so prospect people either for full time or part time by doing that you are doing a great job you are what ultimately is what you do when you are doing viva business in a fantastic way forget about the income part it is a gift you are giving to yourself in one speech martin luther king said even if you are a sweeper if you do the sweeping so well after your death the angels in heaven will sing there was a great sweeper lived there 
if you don't sweep it nicely forget about angels even the pedestrians themselves won't appreciate you so whatever you do when you do it in the best way it's a gift you are giving to yourself keep that in mind here in indus viva by spreading the good news of indus viva opportunity you are giving a gift to yourself and it will be definitely rewarded in a very very big way so go all out india needs entrepreneurship people don't have money to invest and start so network marketing is the way consumer protection act 2019 given legal status for network marketing in india and indus viva is the best network marketing opportunity we are the only company indian company could show the courage to launch this business in america successfully where the highest competition of network marketing and the oldest history of network marketing provides so friends let's have a meaningful life go full fledged 2020 let us make it as the best year ever all the best